Hello everyone, this is me, Brahmeet Mohapatra and today we are going to see that how to create new file storage system like uh, how to create NFS, how to create VMFS. So let's start. So you, you just need to log in into this account. Start this lab. So while this is opening up, let me tell you what is NFS, what is VMFS. So VMFS is a virtual machine file system. It is normally used when you need to create a virtual machine. And it is kind of a block level storage in which all the data are stored in an organized way. So do remember this, that whenever you want to create a virtual machine, you should always use VMFS. Talking about the NFS, it is network file system. It is kind of small storage system file and um, it is a file level storage in which the data are organized mm -hmm. in a way of unorganized system. Uh, whenever you need to create a template or any small things, then you should use NFS mm -hmm. instead of PMFS. Okay, so as our lab has started, so let me open this up. Uh, first screen, yeah. So yeah, now we are inside the virtual machine system and now what you need to do is go to the storage then right click here on region 1 like you need to select a region for the storage to store then go here to the storage and then what you we need is we need to create a new to, new data store so click on new data store then let us start with creating a vmfs file so, okay so here you can choose vmfs nfs okay so we are choosing vmfs so next okay now now it, this one is asking us to name us the data store so let us uh, name it as uh, VMFS data store. Cool. Now this one is asking us to select a host. So in this you can choose any local host like ESX is 02 or 01. So let us choose 02. Then now here is the thing that you need to select free NAS. Okay. So select free NAS because we are using VMFS and NAS has free capacity of 44 GB. So we need to use a free storage. So free NAS. Then next. Okay, now. Now there are two versions of VMFS. One is VMFS, VMFS 5, one is VMFS 6. So we need to go with the latest one and the latest one is VMFS 6. So just next. So now here are the little bit things about the partitioning configuration and uh, you can choose uh, anything here but I would prefer that don't change anything until and unless you need to or it is uh, you have been told to change any default system so here what you can do suppose i need uh, a 40 instead of 44 gb i need somewhat um, uh, let's take half 
so this is 21 GB now I'm I could use 21 GB so here you could see that how much empty space from here okay but let us keep this as default and there is no need to change and uh, next so yeah we are ready to go so the name is BMFS data store type is BMFS and the data store size is 44 GB we have choose disk as free NAS and then version as BMFS 6 and these were on report so mm -hmm. simply go and click on finish so you can now see here uh, when you open this one you can see here that we have VMFS data store so whenever next time you want to create a virtual machine so at that time you can use VMFS data store okay now let us create a NFS so same right click on region then storage then new data store then this time we need to create a NFS data store okay next now we have two versions like uh, NFS 3 and NFS 4.1 but uh, what we need is NFS3 because it allows the data store to access by ESXi host of version earlier than 6.0 so we need this one okay so click on NFS, NFS3 then simply next now uh, here's the main thing where you need to see something yeah. so now uh, let us keep the name as NFS data store and uh, for folder you need to right here m and t in forward slash nfs 02 so this is your folder name which you need to use then for server put as 10.10.20.60 okay. so you sh could use this you could use any other but uh, for dummy purposes i am using this one and you can also use this one only so if you are asked to create an nfs on this hands-on lab virtual machine then use this only and yeah next and this um, click on both like which host you need uh, like um, select the host that requires access to the data store click on both then next and yeah we are ready to go with the NFS data store also and the type is NFS 3 server then folder name then access mode read write then host we have both okay so finish so here you can see that now we have nfs data store also so whenever you need to create a template you can simply go to the template functions then while choosing the data store type you can choose nfs data store so yeah that's it for today thank you